Welcome to Lucid Wings Gaming. Today I have a special new series. I'm going to be calling this series, Will It Flip? <laughs> going to have a little bit of fun building with different things. So it's going to be something I might do once a week um, or whenever I feel like it. There's no structure with uh, my videos at this point in time. So I think I'm going to start off by looking at my storage and seeing what we have here. Now, I've been playing this game for, uh, since it came out really, since it was in uh, closed beta and you had to like basically sign up to play originally. Um, so I've got, I've, I've tried to basically get one of everything, multiple of some weapons. I still have no um, relics because I think they're a little bit too costly <laughs> when they cost like 400 to 500 Australian dollars. That's, that's, you know, crazy. That's a lot of money. But I think $50 for a weapon is somewhat reasonable. Probably. Okay. Anyway, money aside, what are we going to make flip today? I'm going to try and fit, uh, pick something that is reasonably easy. I mean, like going for a carapace to do a flip. I know I can make it flip, but no. <laughs> I'm going to start with something really maybe lightweight. Maybe I should go with, I mean, the Growl is definitely a good flipper. The Cerberus, it's hard to make it flip because of its long nose. Maybe we'll start with uh, the Gorilla because everyone can get a Gorilla pretty easily. So we'll start off with light frames. Um, I'm going to just start off by putting one down sideways. Then what I like to do is just sort of um, add a couple in this sort of arrangement. Now, the most expensive thing in this build, I think, for most people is going to be stallions. These things are crazy expensive. So for a standard non-steering stallion, it's 47 which is somewhere around about how much you would pay for an, a usual blue part, um, maybe not wheels, but yeah, they're still pretty expensive, but then your stallion steering can be over 200, as we can see here. So, I mean, the flip game is expensive to get into, I must say, but what well, we can basically make a good flipper by using Four of the stallion steerings, two of the standard stallions. So this is the basic frame that we're going to be building on. Um, we can extend it uh, somewhat, but mostly not really. Um, you really have to do a lot of tweaking to get a good flipper that is big. So we're going to go with the gorilla. Now the gorilla is going to sit in here very nicely. Um, I'm going to just change, because I would suggest using shift as your flip button, but because my mouse actually has numbers on it, I actually use my mouse button one to do all the flipping. So there we go. We've already got a slight flip mobile. Look at that. She already flips. Ha! We've worked it out already that we can get a very basic and easy flipper. Um, main thing that every flipper is going to need is a car jack because you will end up on your roof and you will get shot to pieces. Second thing that isn't exactly really needed, but probably useful because high speed is going to help a lot is uh, some form of engine. I'm just going to use the hardcore one for this one because this thing already does 65, which is Pretty fast, I guess. Not really fast, actually. That's that's pretty horrible. Um, but with this adding a little bit more to the top speed, we're going to be sitting at... Uh, what is it? 71 kilometers an hour. That's pretty good. Um, now we've added weight to the back. So instantly you can tell it's not flipping anymore. A good little test is to just sit on the spot, drop down, 
bounce up. So we've got almost a 50-50 ratio of weight here. Whee! <laughs> um, so what we need to do is we need to add a little bit of weight to the front. So just by adding, and this is this is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated because the trying to put weapons on a flipper is a little bit more complicated. But I'll give you a little tip. Using these ball bars, you can create a nice little arrangement like this, which is somewhat rounded. So you get this sort of rounded finish here. That way when you're powering out and you jump, it's going to roll off of that front instead of like we saw before where it lands on the square front of this. So we're going to get a little bit more weight down the front. See, it's already getting heavier on the front there. But one of the more important things is you do need it to be heavy on the back, but then you want it to sort of get light somewhere around the middle, but then have another weight at the back so that once you have flipped over, gone past the center of mass on the front, you want it to be able to follow on from there to being upside down. See, I, I have weight on the front now, but I've got no weight on the back. So you want it to be able to complete the flip by having something heavy on the back as well. So with this little build, it seems to be doing all right so far. Um, there's a couple of tricks that will make it actually flip easier without just the standard old drive forward, hit the flip button and hope for the best. Um, one thing you can do is as you hit the flip button, hit the brake. So that'll give you that extra little nudge forward that you'll need to get that flip going. Also, turning. For some reason, turning right before you do the flip will actually launch you even further into the flip. So, so yeah, just do a little turn and then we've, we've actually made it with this little rig so far. So a combination of braking, turning, and good timing as you go down and up will get you a nice flip going on. Now this thing just seems to be flipping on its roof right now. What can I do about that? Hmm. Well, let's start off by adding more speed. We could just go all out and grab the cheater. Why not? I'm just gonna slip this cheater on here. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Cheat like this. There you go. Um, so this cheat is actually going to be a bit high. You kind of want to round the top off in a way so that it rolls. But we'll try this out. Um, what's it sitting like? So it's still got a little bit of front um, dip. Try it out. I like to make sure that this thing will flip before it comes out of the concrete here or out of the garage. You want it to be able to be fast enough to get up speed. and do its flip out of the garage. Because if it can't flip by the time it gets to the end of there, it's not going to be useful in battle. Basically. A rough way of saying. So that, that, that goes all right. Now, what we need is, one of the most important things is the weight up high. So you want it to be kind of tippy. You want it, you want it, to almost want to tip over as it turns and and all that. So let's say I'll grab something that's light, maybe something a little light, nimble. I do like the pierces. They are very nice. We'll, we'll try the pierces. So we'll put these somewhere in the center here. And I've run out of power. Hmm. We do. Let's find something with, uh, maybe we'll just go two hornets. Put them right on top. Because one of the other things that you want to do is you want the roof not to be flat. So if you do land on your roof, see how you get that little rolling action. You want the roof to be round. And you see how I'm starting to get a better flipper already just by adding those guns on there. 
There you go. See how we've rolled around the engine at the back there? You've got enough weight to pivot over that engine. That's what you want. So if you don't get a full flip, then it's going to basically land back on its feet anyway. Another tip that I'll give you, there's lots of tips and tricks. This is, there's a little bit of complications with um, making a true flipper. But if you can find little dips like this little bit here, that can give you that extra little jump that you need. So, for example, there's one that happens just before this little van here on this other side. Whereas if you get the right timing, You can get a nice flip and height by actually using the terrain to your advantage. So as you can see, it is a little bit of a jump up and then I've gotten pretty much to the top right where my suspension has, um, what would you say, absorbed a bit of that. Then you do your jump. It's like that. Use your terrain to your advantage because it will definitely help. Uh, a good little thing to practice is going off edges also. And having half of your car leave the edge and then do your jump. That way you get a nice little flip going on. <laughs> eh. I don't like that. A little bit like that. But I think we have like a basic little build going on here. We've got enough flip we got some flip action um i mean the hornets they do amazing damage as you can tell <laughs> no they don't maybe instead of the cheetah engine we might pick the hot red because it doesn't take any energy i use this one a lot because of that it doesn't use any energy because you do not have much room really to, to add weapons after you've used a car jack and an engine it's taking away from your ability to do your flips okay whatever I did there is basically remove this thing's ability ability to, to do a good flip so I think what's stopping me now is the square on the back of this so what can we do well we can lengthen this vehicle. So, but just bringing back the wheels, just one world square. So now we have two jumpers at the back. So these two are gonna be the bounce that's gonna hopefully, hopefully bring us over. I'm gonna put this down here. Put my pump up here, Kajak. So now we've created that sort of rounded shape that we need and we'll see this can do a flip by the end there you go look at that <laughs> now we're in business see that look at that even though i've almost come to a complete stop this thing will finish off the flip and we're good to go yes <laughs> bit of flip training and cross out Ooh, that was a pretty good one. So even though... I wonder, I wonder how much this costs to make something like this. Wow. <laughs> Not cheap. There, there is no way that you can make a budget. So this is about as budget flip as you get. <laughs> um, eesh. Maximum speed of 73. I mean... I guess we could go back to the hardcore. This thing can probably fl still flip all right. Yes, actually flips a little bit better. Look at that. Woohoo! And returning back to the wheels, that is exactly what you want to see. It's that nice rounded shape going along the top there and it being able to come back to its wheels after it's reached the halfway point. And you can kind of see 
And if you look at the arrow of this, um, the mass, the center of mass thing, you may not be able to see it because the quality is not real good at the moment for me. There we go. It's actually pretty, pretty good. It's a little bit further in front of the center wheel there, but that's good. Center of mass. You want it to sort of be in front of the back wheels. That way, it gets a good little flip. Having the wheels in this arrangement too, having one in, one out, one in, that it sort of increases your chance of landing on your wheels if you do a sort of sideways flip. It gives you just a... I don't know. It seems to work pretty good. But saying that, it doesn't need to be that way. You don't have to make it that way. Yeah. Why don't we uh, take this bad boy into battle? What do we got? Let's make it steel plate. Oh, that looks badass. Um, 2,100 men. I'm going to be waiting ages to get a game in this thing. But what can we do? You know, you got to have some fun. Sometimes you got to wait. <laughs> Don't be surprised if I uh, if I get destroyed. But um, this is a pretty low power score setup, so I, I should do okay. We got blue weapons. <laughs> Wonder if that guy's ever seen stuff like this. Me and him, we're gonna work together. Come on, Angel, Angel Nino, we got this. Cool. Oh. Hmm. Yep, we've got a friend over there trying to... Okay. <laughs> Kill steal. Good job, guys. Oh, uh oh. Job. Oh, oh, we got a George. George bot sitting up the top there. Ugh, the lag. Oh, don't do that. Get out of it. I don't know how that guy did not destroy me then. Take your weapon. Oh no, I'm so screwed. <laughs> Wasn't a bad match. I don't know if I'll get MVP or not. This guy's gonna do really well to beat everyone. Well, we did okay. Is it alright? The lowest power score build I've done in a long time. Let's see what we can do to improve the look of this thing. Just for the, the sake of the screenshot. You know. Gonna make this thing look good for you guys. I want you to appreciate my build. <laughs> Something simple. Too over the top. Hmm. Also, something that's not gonna destroy that its flippability. Yes. 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 What have we got? Something like that. Oh good. Doing this stuff on the fly is um slightly difficult. We'll move this in. Here we go. Wonder. Can we 
Can we just remove all this? Make this thing flip well. Yeah. Another tip, if you're still here, when you do your flips, keep your accelerator down. Because when you hit the ground, you're going to go fast. You're going to get your wheels up to maximum speed and just take off. This build isn't the fastest in the world, but man, for something so little, it's got some acceleration when it lands. <laughs> yes. So cool. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Lucid Wings Gaming. Please subscribe. I need more subscribers. A little bit of love. Comment. Um, try out your flips. If you do make a flip build, put the name of it down in the comments and I will try it. I'll, I'll even show a couple off when I uh, get back. I'm going to do my next Will It Flip video. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one.